Saturday was a day of firsts for Iowa. No Kirk Ferentz on the sidelines serving a one game suspension. That's a first. The debut of Tim Lester as the offensive coordinator. Would that make any sort of difference for the Iowa offense? That's the question Iowa fans have wanted answered all offseason. In the first half of the game, they didn't get the answer they liked because it was horrendous. First point of the game come on a 41 yard field goal from Drew Stevens. That was with five and a half minutes to play in the first quarter. All right, so it's three nothing. They almost got a touchdown on special teams. Meet Caden Wheatgen, who's taking over the punt return duties for Cooper DeGene. It looked like he was filling in nicely. Although there was a flag on the play, it's called back. Touchdown does not stand. The defense, for those wondering, still the Iowa defense. Aaron Graves on the sack here. He had two in the first half. First half, uh, two turnovers for Iowa as well, but they can only muster up six points on two field goals. Boo Birds right down. Looked like the same old thing. 147 yards in the first half. Second half, they flipped the switch. Cade McNamara rolling right, finds Reese Vanderzee, the true freshman. He was fantastic on the afternoon. Perhaps the story of the day from that offense. It's 13 nothing. Next drive, McNamara to Jacob Gill, the Northwestern transfer. And here we go. It's 20 to nothing. And when you're playing Illinois State with this defense, uh, that's pretty much going to do it. But they're going to keep adding on. Reese Vanderzee again. This ball just thrown off his back foot, McNamara's, and Vanderzee comes down with it. So it's 27 to nothing. And let's have some more fun, shall we? There goes Caleb Johnson, 64 yards to the house. Iowa's offense flips the script in the second half. 492 total yards of offense, the most they have had in a game in five years, folks. 40 to nothing is the final. All smiles. Shannon Earhart continues our coverage from Iowa City. This is what the Hawkeyes were expecting. The defense to anchor and the offense to improve with legitimate game reps. Quarterback Cade McNamara reminded media post game that this is a brand new offense. So just like us, they're seeing plays for the very first time. When stuff wasn't going our way at the beginning, we were kind of, you know, Really, our tempo wasn't very good. I wasn't expecting to run as much as I did today. Iowa went to halftime with 147 total yards. That's just four yards per play and zero touchdowns. That wasn't our best today. I think, you know, we don't want to start a game like that. After the first half, Coach Wallace was just telling us we just got to keep pounding the rock. I mean, um, like they're going to fold at some point. We just got to keep sticking with them. An entirely different offense came out of the Iowa locker room. Definitely makes our job easier, getting less snaps, all that kind of stuff. But um, I think it's just more fun game. There's a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of energy. It's all about coming out together, uh, firing off the ball, playing fast, um, being physical. Uh, so yeah, just really being together was a big message. Iowa also played without their head coach, but assistant coach Seth Wallace did not leave them stranded. Once the offense started gaining some momentum, I could tell like how much more fired up he was because then we're huddling up on the sideline and then I'm trying to call the play and then I got coach Wallace saying let's go and like getting the guys and like we got to you know keep going and like whatever kind of motivation he was giving me and and to the entire offense like as I'm trying to call the play on the sideline so I thought it was that part was fun. Coach Ferentz will be back on the sidelines next Saturday for the Cyhawk game. I'm Shannon Earhart from Kinnick Stadium KCCI Iowa sports leader.